poem for you all entitled American Nightmare. Yeah! Here in America, hypocrisy is adequate. A phrase rarely uttered but always relevant. Etched into our history books, it reads, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. But are we really? Because I promise, if you open this book, you'll find tales of America's proud patriotic history. But you won't find a drop of ink depicting the tectonic struggle of ebony versus ivory over emerald green. This nation's elevation on black backs is reminiscent of African plates forcibly submerged under the Eurasian pressure. And we're becoming victims of reoccurring history. These fault lines over time have been bleached out. It's crazy that black blood is riddling these streets. I don't understand how a black person's life has only found significance between white chalk outlines. My first interaction with police handcuffed my innocence to disregard. Taught me that blameless or not, you must first fear authority, boy. I remember when those blue and red lights were sirening behind me. I unconsciously prayed in hopes I would survive, but why? I had done nothing wrong. The only thing I was guilty of was forgetting the tombstone that was gifted to me as I entered adolescence, forever wondering whether or not America would simply throw me away if they found out that I was still breathing past my expiration date. My fate to be gunned down like those who came before me because God, I've always been more Martin than Malcolm, but it's getting hard because my inner peace doesn't always numb this pain. Because as I walk through these streets, I can feel their glares burn through my humanity like I've only ever been three-fifths human. This perpetual ultimatum to take my soul through a swim sprint through bleach for a glimpse at equality or to embrace my melanin having to embody the Second Amendment. Woo! Yeah. But even with hands raised, I'll always be considered the weapon. My neck, yeah. it too closely resembles a pistol grip. My head is too reminiscent of a trigger. The yeah. trigger have themselves ecstatic to pull this one back. I'm simultaneously the target. A midnight silhouette statistics say police are good as long as they hit the black man. If you look back on history, you'll see that there were black folk on foreign land that they never asked to be on, and I am their kin. The incarnation of a dream that we will be more than African caricatures for the sake of this nation's entertainment that we will be more than slaves for the sake of this nation's capitalism, that we will be more than target practice for the sake of this nation's soldiers. I am only 23, but I've already felt the stress of Uncle Sam's boots against my humanity, flattening it to the ground that I was born resilient. Or maybe just forced to become that as a child. So yet still I rise as the rose from the concrete, but from that I've learned a numbing lesson. That my shadow here in America is considered privilege. It means that I am still standing upright. Not yet dragged down to the grave by the weight of my skin. Hence why I say grace as I wake and before I sleep. Because I've been forced to understand that this life ain't mine. I'm merely written. And this lease is running out with every single second. Uncle Sam's coming to collect. Because understand, I've never been offered this American dream. Yeah! I've only ever experienced the American nightmare.